Coco Golf versus Arena Sabalenka is the first quarterfinal of the Women's Indian Wells Tournament for 2023. And both players have had to battle to get to the quarterfinal stage. Goff started the tournament off as the number six seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'll take on the qualifier Buxa. But this posed no problem with Goff getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. In the third round, she'll take on another teenager, Nuskova, who had just taken out the 31st seed, Anisimova, in the previous round. But Goff's experience showed getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-3. In the fourth round, she'll take on another qualifier, Pedersen, who had been in very good form the last few months. And after dropping the second set, Goff had to fight to win, eventually getting through in three, 6-3, 1-6, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Radina, but this posed no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6 love. In the third round, she was supposed to play Serenko, who had just beaten Vekic, the 29th seed in the previous round, but Serenko pulled out last minute, and Sabalenka got a walkover win. In the fourth round, she would take on the number 16 seed, Krajikova, the only player to beat Sabalenka this season. And after dropping the second set, Sabalenka would again have to fight to win the match, this time winning in three, 6-3, 2-6, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played four times before, with Goff leading the head-to-head 3-1, -head but they have played three three-setters in those four matches, with Goff's only straight sets win being on a slow clay court. If Goff's gonna win this match, she needs to play a hell of a lot better than she has been. She's played some lower-ranked players, which has helped her, but that match against Pedersen was very, very awkward. She's making a lot of errors, she needs her serve to go well as well because we know Sabalenka's serve has been a rocket lately. If Sabalenka's going to win, she needs to keep her cool. And she also needs to kind of put it out of her mind that she's losing this head-to-head -head record. Start again in 2023. She should pretend like this is the first meeting they've had because Sabalenka, compared to what they did last time when they played in Toronto, is such a different player. And she should go into this match almost thinking like they haven't played before because this version of Sabalenka with a Grand Slam under her belt is so different to the one that Goff had to play before. This is going to be a really fun matchup and one of the all-time matches of the tournament, I think. It could go three sets. It could be an epic, as we've seen it before. But I'm going to go with Sabalenka in three sets, and I reckon maybe a tiebreaker in the third. Why not? Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this match?